And this video is a tutorial on how to do a deep dive on new DeFi ecosystems yourself. I do a lot of deep dives on this channel where I show you my thoughts and analysis on various decentralized finance ecosystems. However, in this video, rather than just showing you my thoughts on a new ecosystem, I'm actually going to walk you through the process for how to find the key building blocks for that ecosystem and how to research them yourself. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice. This is purely for educational purposes. Now let's get into it. To start, let's take a look at the tools that we're going to use to do our research today. The first tool that we're going to use is going to be DeFi Llama. I love this website. This is my go-to resource for finding metrics in DeFi and for starting my DeFi research basically every single day. And what DeFi Llama has, if you've never used it, is it has thousands of DeFi applications categorized, literally thousands. And it's got them organized by metrics like total value locked, basically deposits if you aren't familiar with the term. It's got them organized by chain. It's got them organized by category. You can even search, for example, for yield across different protocols. You can search for their treasury balance. It, it's got, you know, basically everything you need. And so this is going to be the first place we're going to go and and uh, I would say the most important resource that we're going to use today. Second place we're going to go to is going to be Dex Screener. Dex Screener is for finding the price, exploring and charting various different on-chain tokens. And Dex Screener is going to have basically everything that's that's listed on DEXs. So that's going to include things that are that are going to be rug pulls, things that are already rug pulls. It's going to include things that that um, have market caps that are like a thousand dollars. And it's going to also include major tickers. But we're going to use Dex Screener as well because that can be a good way to figure out what's trending on a new ecosystem. And then the final place we're going to use is actually the website for the ecosystem that we're going to explore. And the ecosystem that I chose for this video is Blast. Blast is a new Ethereum layer two. It's been growing really quickly the past couple of weeks, and they have this ongoing points program that is attracting a lot of people. And this video isn't isn't really intended as a full walkthrough of Blast, although I may have one of those coming in the near future. But Blast is the example that we're going to use because it's so new. It's good for good for exploring. Awesome. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to DeFi Llama and we're going to go to this chains section here over on the left. And what this is going to do is this first section showed us, actually I'll go back to it. The first section showed us by protocol stats, right? So we see the TVL, for example, for Lido, for Eigenlayer, for Aave. What chains is going to do is it's now going to aggregate and group those protocols by chain. And so for example, we can see here that Ethereum has $110 billion TVL, Tron has 10 billion, BSC has 6.2 billion and so on and so forth. And then we get all the way down here to number 10 is Blast. And we see here Blast has 52 protocols. TVL is up 21.1% in the past day. And TVL is currently sitting at $766 million. That's pretty impressive. Um, you can see there's some other stats here at the top. $9 million in 24 hour volume, $2.5 billion have been bridged to the chain. Overall, just like a high level summary of, of what's going on on the chain. And so next thing I would do is I would actually click into Blast here. And then what this is gonna do is it's gonna show us all of the applications that are listed on DeFi Llama that are on Blast. Now, one thing I wanna note is that being listed on DeFi Llama doesn't mean that a project has been audited or vetted or anything like that. Uh, basically any DeFi project can get listed on here. They don't discriminate. And so just keep that in mind, right? It, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily good just because it's listed, but this is a great resource for finding projects. And so as we said, there's some ranging from $0 in total value locked to $288 million in TVL. And so what I'll usually do when I'm starting to look at an ecosystem is what I'll want to find first is I'll want to look at the category leaders for each category. And I'm going to want to find opportunities to earn yield or to earn points or to otherwise qualify for airdrops. And so first thing I'm going to do is while I have this chains blast chain tab open, I'm actually going to click on this button over here on the left that says airdrops. And what this is going to do is this is going to show us specifically tokenless protocols. I'm going to click on filter by chain 
clear it, and I'm gonna filter to blast. And the reason I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna sort by TVL again, is I wanna see which of these protocols don't have tokens, because there's basically three things we're gonna be looking for when we look at DeFi projects today. The first is opportunities to earn yield. Second is opportunities to earn airdrops, and that could be a points system or just protocols that don't have a token yet. And then third, it's going to be opportunities to trade. And trading requires a decentralized exchange. We'll talk about that later. When we're looking at these for now, the first thing we're looking at is we are looking for protocols that we can earn high yields or we can earn points or airdrops. And so let's look at this breakdown here. We can see the largest that doesn't have a token on Blast is PAC Finance, which is the second largest and second largest lending market. We can see that Ring does not have a token either. Third largest Thruster, what you might miss it, but it's actually because it's split into V3 and V2. The roster doesn't have a token either. Juice Finance doesn't have a token. Ambient. So actually, most of these top ones don't have tokens yet. So there's actually a lot of good opportunities to airdrop farm on Blast. We're seeing this now, now as we go through the protocols. And so the next thing I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start to click into these protocols. I'm just selecting them one by one. And I'm going to go all the way down to... Let's go to number seven. We'll, we'll do seven, lucky number seven. And so when you click on it, it opens up a page that looks like this, which is the further breakdown on DeFi Llama of the stats for that specific protocol. For example, we can see Orbit's total value locked has been climbing from $33 million on March 1st to $288 million as of today when I'm making this video. We see the token. We see a link to the website. We see a link to their Twitter. By the way, this is a great place to actually find links to protocol websites and Twitter so you know you're getting the right one, right? Because there's always scam websites and scam Twitters. You can find the correct link on here. And uh, note, it also tells you whether it's been audited before and it tells you who it's forked from. So this protocol is forked from Compound V2 and it has not been audited. And the next thing I'll do is I'll click on website and I'll start to explore the protocol. You can see here that there's some opportunities to earn rewards on this application. For example, they are distributing Blast points and Blast gold to people that lend out through their money market. Blast has this ecosystem-wide points program going on right now. It's a pretty cool ongoing game, you might call it, but a game that earns you money. And you can supply USDB, which is the stable coin of of blast or you can supply ethereum and then both of those you're going to earn apy plus you're going to earn orbit tokens then you can take those orbit tokens and you can stake them to increase your emissions uh etc cetera, etc cetera, like many yield farming money markets work and um yeah so so that would be one example of how we would go through and look at a protocol and what i would do is i was doing re as i do research is i would go through all the top protocols in the ecosystem and i'm not going to go through every single one, one by one in this video. But this is basically what I would do. And what I would look for here also is I would specifically look for protocols that are not only on the chain, but that are native to the chain. And what I mean by that is there could be a protocol, for example, that's on multiple chains, but Blast is their primary chain that they're on. But for example, if Uniswap tomorrow launched on Blast, then am I going to do a deep dive on Uniswap as part of my Blast video. Probably not. And the reason is because Uniswap is on many other chains. The primary chain it's on is Ethereum. The secondary chain, I haven't checked recently, but it's probably probably Arbitrum. And so if Blast is like the fifth or sixth chain, it's just not that consequential to Uniswap. And although Uniswap could add legitimacy to, to Blast, the Uni token isn't really going to be tied to Blast. And there's not really going to be any likely to be blast specific rewards with some exceptions so what i'll look for is, is protocols that are either one chain there on blast or for example ambient is on four chains but if we look at the breakdown by chain blast is the number one chain on ambient so i could say that that is it's basically a blast native application and the second chain it's on scroll is also sort of an up-and-coming chain with potential airdrops so to me, Ambient would be one that you could consider native and, and look at anyways. So let's look at some more, more applications now. And we already looked at one lending application. 
Uh, I'm actually I'm not going to go through every single one on here, but let's let's find a decentralized exchange now. Because in addition to a lending application, I'm also going to want to find a DEX because you need a DEX to trade, and DEXs can be a good way to earn yield. And so first one I'm going to look at is Ring. You can see they have a yield platform and a DEX, but it's it's pretty large. So I want to look at Ring, see what's going on with that yield platform. And then I'm also going to look at Thruster and Ambient. So we see Ring Exchange here. They've got some backers. You can provide liquidity and they have these pools to earn. Isn't that interesting? And you can see here there's ETH, USDB, ETH and Omnicat. I'm guessing that's some kind of cat meme coin. And then they've also got single token pools. And the point of this video isn't to sort of do a deep dive on these things, but here looking at it, you can see that by providing these things, you are receiving blast points and you're receiving ring points. So you're basically qualifying for the blast airdrop and you're qualifying for future ring airdrop. So that's pretty interesting right there. It doesn't show you the, the APR from actually just real yield uh, trading fees. Uh, but so in that case, I would basically assume that most of the rewards you're going to get are going to be going to be uh, the points. But that would be an example of one here. We've now found a place we can trade and we found another place we can earn points. Thruster. This is another DEX. Let's take a look at Thruster. Pretty standard. It looks like a Unifork DEX. You can swap on here. Cool. Ambient. Ambient was the other DEX. So let's look at Ambient Finance. Ambient X Blast Trade Now. Cool. Okay, so this this one you can see here is more like a trading platform. And what we want to find out is, is there an opportunity to earn yield in here? So there's points. And then you see here this mention of ambient points with their leaderboard. Yes. So you can also earn points on ambient. There's a lot of good airdrop opportunities, but you can guys can kind of see that as I'm looking at this ecosystem, what I'm doing is I'm going through all the DeFi applications and I'm finding opportunities for yield, finding opportunities to earn points. And then that's kind of how you can start to construct a view of how you could actually put your tokens to use in the ecosystem. And in the case of Blast, those tokens would probably be ETH or their USDB stablecoin, basically finding ways to deploy it to these different applications to maximize your points. And so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to figure out actually which DEXs are people using on Blast, because that's going to affect where we go to trade and it's going to potentially affect where we provide liquidity. And so one way to do that is you can go to DeFi Llama, you can click on this volumes tab over here on the left. You can click on chains. And then this is going to show you the actual trading volume on DEXs by chain. I told you guys DeFi Llama is awesome for this sort of research. And I'm going to scroll down to find the chain I'm looking for. You can see Blast is currently rank 28. And this is going to be the DEX volume by chain. And one thing I'll note here is that I think because Blast is so new, DeFi Llama isn't showing the volume for all of these DEXs yet for Blast. So they have ambient as the top one. I'm not 100% sure if that's true or if it's not true. I don't know. If it is true, I don't know how close other DEXs are to, to it. But um, but this is a good place to start. So we know ambient is getting some volume, right? It's got 80 million in the past seven days. Next place I'm going to go is actually to DEX screener. And what you see on DEX screener here is, again, all of the tickers across every DEX on every chain the number of transactions, the volume, the price change, etc. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the left and I'm going to click on Blast. And what this is going to do is it's going to show us specifically the tickers on Blast, as you would guess. And so the weird thing here is DeFi Llama basically only has ambient. It's got ambient in this swap with no volume. Dex Screener does not have ambient. So I don't actually know which which decks is the biggest i think it's this thruster decks that's on here but i'm not 100 percent sure but we will click on 24 hours here then we sort by volume and we see the top traded coins and they are almost all on this thruster decks so thruster again this was this one potential airdrop because it doesn't have a token yet but you can see here it's pretty light on the features right you can really just swap and provide liquidity that being said, if you actually want to trade on the chain, this is probably going to be a good place to go because most of the high volume pairs, they are on Thruster right now. And if you look at liquidity as well, 
if we go back to Blast over here, then we look at liquidity, then Thruster also has a lot of liquidity, $56 million. That being said, if with proper incentives, those sorts of things can change quickly. And it looks like Ambient has some incentives in the form of points. But yeah, I would go here. And then the next thing I would do is if you're into the meme coin meta, right? If you want to try to buy some meme coins, then what you could start to do is you could actually start to try to find some meme coins or a meme coin or some sort of other highly speculative asset on the chain. And so for example, here we can start to see the tokens that are have the most liquidity, have the most volume, have the highest valuation on the chain and start to really understand what's going on in the chain ecosystem. And for example, we see this yes token here. And if we click into it, we can see again, links. So deck screener sometimes has links, which can be helpful. It's got the website, it's got the Twitter. We see that yes is actually associated with this baseline markets protocol we encountered before. Again, I'm kind of doing some of this research live now, but we see this is an automated tokenomics engine for ERC20 tokens. Then we see that here's the baseline Twitter and they built this yes money 420 token. They say it's the first ERC 420. Okay, so baseline is this protocol for designing tokenomics and, and uh, issuing liquidity. And then it looks like yes is maybe some sort of prototype and it's got kind of meme ability because it's got the 420 thing and it's got the smiley face and all that. Again, live research. So, so don't crucify me <laughs> if I made a minor mistake there. A point of this is to show the process. Another one we see here is we see this BB token, Blast Bros, with $7.5 million of liquidity. So this, I would say, at first glance, looks like some kind of meme coin. There isn't the isn't the uh, website and Twitter on here, so you'd have to go find that. You can see, for example, whether the liquidity is locked. Sometimes they have a lock here if the liquidity is locked. I don't see that on this one. I don't know if that's because they don't have that set up for Blast yet, or if it it's because the liquidity truly isn't locked. Uh, and then you can just obviously see the token price, right? That's that's the main thing that it's for. But now we have a good idea of, okay, well, at the very minimum, this is one of the leading meme coins on the chain. Right now, as you start to build out your understanding of the ecosystem, understanding the memes on the chain can be an important part. And then the final place that we're gonna go for our research is actually to the protocol ecosystem chain website. And first thing you're gonna to wanna to find here is how do you actually access this chain? Because a lot of new chains, it's gonna to be tough to access. And Blast, for example, has this bridge here. You can see the tagline, bridge to earn yield plus Blast points. Great, you can bridge from Ethereum mainnet, you can bridge ETH, stable coins, staked ETH, wrapped ETH. Okay, if you're on ETH mainnet, you've got ETH or stable coins, you can bridge it over to Blast using this Blast bridge. And then the next thing I would look for is Sometimes these protocol websites will actually have an ecosystem page. And now I don't see one on here, or I don't see an ecosystem page. Sometimes they'll have one, but you can also go to their Twitter and see, for example, who are they following and who are they retweeting? For example, we see they're retweeting this Juice Finance protocol. That was one of the ones we looked at before. We see they're retweeting this NFT perp.xyz protocol, DTX mainnet, Basically, you, you can start to get a feel for the ecosystem and also who's doing announcements and who the ecosystem, maybe it's not an endorsement, but who they at least are aware of. It gives some credibility to the protocol if they're being shared by the ecosystem Twitter. And that's basically how I would go about starting to understand a new DeFi ecosystem. If you want more information about DeFi research, airdrops, etc., be sure to check out my weekly newsletter at Dynamo DeFi substack.com publish it every week with the latest trends on chain analysis and tools in crypto and for more videos like this one be sure to like and subscribe until next time this is dynamo defi